Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, you're currently watching Tea Time. November was a crazy month for all the Yeezys, we had the Zebra restock and now we had the Sesame colorway which got so many times postponed and now it finally dropped. That being said, me being a 350v2 lover, this streak is gonna continue. In December we're gonna see an absolutely new colorway again, it did not get as much hype as many other colorways but I'm talking about the static Yeezy. Now for many people this Yeezy is gonna fall a little bit under the radar but I want everybody kind of to keep in mind that this is maybe the last V2 that we're gonna see because as many of you probably know in 2019 the Yeezy V3 is gonna release. Keeping that in mind this Yeezy looks extremely crazy but since it's gonna be the last one of the V2 lineup it's definitely worth taking a look at and I think everybody should try to cop. Without further ado, do let us start looking at the static Yeezy and let's examine them a little bit. So let's jump to my phone. So as we can see currently here I'm on a site called sneakerbardetroit.com. Now this site posted a lot a lot a lot of static Yeezy pictures. So let's take a look at all of them, how they look under the dark, on daylight and on feet. But first here we have a picture of kind of them glowing in the dark and again this this actually for me it, it does look crazy but it looks awesome. Like like I'm I, I'm generally excited for this release now. The Easy of course is going to release December 2018. It's going to have a retail price of 220 just like every other 350. Like let's scroll down a little bit like we can definitely see like it's a clean colorway and they and they look dope. But when the light stops shining on them this is kind of where the hype stops for me because right now when we look at the following pictures it looks pretty much like a cream white Yeezy. My biggest grudge that I have with all the creams and also the zebras is the sole because the sole is gonna yellow so fast and if you don't put like some sole shields or some sole protectors on there from rejuvenator or from wherever you want to buy them they're gonna get dirty extremely fast and this yellowing is extremely fast to remove. For that you need salt sauce I have another video where I showed how to get the yellowing of the creams away but even with that, you're never gonna get them back to original looking or as clean and crisp as they once were. And especially when you drop 224 sneaker, I think this is a big problem. For example, Jordans, although they have, for example, some ice soles, for example, some transparent blue ones or even completely transparent white, even if they get a little bit yellow, they are still not as bad as Yeezys, I feel. Since the entire sole is transparent, it kind of goes up and looks quite ugly from the far away. It looks like you're always having dirty kicks. And that's what I think no sneakerheads really wants. That being said, if we scroll a little bit more down, we can see the on-feet pictures. Of course, like every Yeezy, they look super sick on foot. I think you can combine them with pretty much everything. Again, it's a little bit of a crazier colorway, but it's not as crazy that you cannot combine since it's kind of like a light gray, all these lines and these uh, patterns. I think it's gonna be easier to combine them, for example, the zebras. Here again, as we can see, we have a sole picture and we can really tell that these shoes are gonna get dirty as hell. I mean, this is gonna yellow. After one month's latest, they're gonna be yellow. And that's quite unfortunate in my opinion for such a nice sneaker. <laughs> Again, when they shine the light on it, it looks sexy. This is a sexy sneaker. But from the top, I have to be honest, they look a little bit weird. They look a little bit like some uh, fake uh, turtle dove Yeezys, <laughs> like the V ones. But that might just be my opinion. Anyways, let's round it off with this last picture, which is gonna be the picture we're gonna see on the official Adidas side once they release and when you're gonna be able to cop. And so before I end this video, I would like to uh, take a minute to really say thank you to all my subscribers, especially yesterday when the drop was happening. You gave me so much support. You always asked me if I was copying. You said, hey, good luck, good luck. I really appreciate it. And that's actually exactly the reason why I started YouTube, because I wanted this community. I feel on Twitter and in so many forums, this kind of interaction gets kind of lost. So for me, this is really what I wanted. And I really appreciate you guys. And I really want to give a special shout out to... Um, six subscribers the first one being harry double man you you've been there from the start thank you so much again ryan jo uh, junior shaw junior shaw i believe yeah richard rodriguez chris diggy mr panda sad lad one guys really thank you so much you sent me links back and forward sadly again i'm currently living in europe and in europe i cannot buy for example from easy supply or from uh, uh foot patrol I can't. It's not that I cannot purchase them. The thing is because of the tariffs and the tax and the shipping, I would pay around 280 to 290. But as you guys know, I cannot just sit by and just see everybody cop and kind of take an L on my favorite colorway. So I decided to pull the trigger on the Moth 700. The only Yeezy actually that was kind of sitting here in Europe because as it turns out, Europe apparently is not really set up for the hype because there's a lot of hype, a lot of people from the UK, from Germany are trying to order but 
the numbers just don't stack up like the united states or canada you have huge numbers you have huge stock and that's also why i wish so much to be back in the states especially for this hype but uh currently i'm here and i hope that one day i'll be back but for now i kind of guess that i have to settle on not copying taking a good amount of l's and paying resale here in germany anyways again i appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for watching out for me and with that being said we reach already 100 subscribers honestly i have 100 subscribers i really appreciate you guys thank you so much although this video was now a little bit longer than i anticipated thank you so much for watching again thank you so much to all the subscribers i was that i'm out booyah